forgive me if I'm wrong and off, but I think I'm pretty close. They have approximately 120 to 150 reverse mortgage providers. And guess what? All those providers are private lenders. And that's where these stories come from because yes, in all probability, there could be some truth to them, but when you're dealing with a private lender, even here in Canada, anything's possible mm -hmm. because we have a vast array of, it could be an individual, it could be a small lending company, you know, but imagine that uh, you're playing by their rules and from lender to lender to lender, the rules are different. The rules of engagement, <clears throat> pardon me. And I'm sure there's some good ones. I'm sure that people have received reverse mortgages in the US and they didn't experience anything derogatory at all. Mm -hmm. But for the many that did, that's where these stories are coming from. That's where they're being shared. And you know how stories get broken down or exaggerated, um, transferring from mouth to mouth <laughs> and person to person. Um, and I'm going to say here in Canada, number one, the, the reverse mortgage providers that we have in Canada are federally regulated Schedule One banks trading on the stock exchange, the Canadian stock exchange. Um, and the federal government holds them, you know, t as tight reined as they do CIBC, Scotia, they're at the same level, the same level. So it is a very viable, safe way for seniors, especially 